Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at how to make cinematic titles in all of Video Editor. If you don't have all of yet, check out my video on how to get it for free. It's open source and legal to download. If you want to learn the basics of this application first, check out my very short beginner tutorial. To get started, we need a sequence. We can just right click in the project area, press new and press sequence. If you do know which resolution and which frame rate your project should have, you can simply select it here. If you are not sure, just drag in the video on which you want to base this project and then drag it to the timeline and delete it in the timeline. And this sequence will have the same resolution and frame rate as this video file. And here, to get started, we're gonna just click on this plus, select title, and click and drag an area of about six seconds. I'm just gonna use the backslash key on the keyboard to zoom into the sequence. And we don't need project anymore, so let's close that. And to have a better view, let's resize this. To change the text, let's click on the title clip and click edit text. Here we're gonna write tux designer channel. And with control A, we can select everything. And uh, with this number, which we can drag, we can change the size. Currently, unfortunately, we don't see in the sequence immediately what it looks like. But if you make the window bigger, you can see what it will look like at, in this case, 1080p resolution. So I think, let's say 64. Let's try 64. I'm going to also change the font by clicking in this area. And I'm just going to type in L, press Enter. I'm going to pick Lato. It's a great free font. But unfortunately, this and these buttons over here, that's all the tools you have in all of currently. Hopefully in future version, you will be able to make letter spacing settings, for example. For now, we're going to just use that. Let's press OK. And here's a font in the project. Now let's make this change over time. So we're going to go to the first frame and we're going to enable scale over here by pressing on the time or clock icon. And then we're going to go to the last frame. I'm just going to use arrow key down and then arrow key left for that. And I'm going to change the value here to 115. Let's take a look. It's slowly growing. Now you might be worried about the quality decreasing. So actually it would be wiser if you do 100% here and a lower number over here, for example, 90. And this way you scale down and then return to normal scale rather than scaling up. And you can compensate by edit text and changing the font size to, I guess, uh, 70. Yeah, that feels right. And if you click out of a clip, you can actually see this without the white selection border. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to add opacity to this. Opacity is over here. We can make it more transparent or completely visible or completely invisible. We're going to go to the first frame again and we're going to set it to invisible here. So opacity has to be set to zero. And let's enable the keyframes now. Now we're going to move about one third of a second to the right. And here we're going to increase this to 100. Let's take a look. Yeah, basic fade in. And at the end, we can maybe take a little longer time to fade out. So let's add another keyframe here. Jump to the end with down arrow key or left arrow key. And here we're going to set it to zero. All right. And the whole project is like this. Now let's work on a nice blur. For this, we're going to disable transform. So the changes we made will not be applied anymore. This will allow us to see the blur in all frames, even when opacity is zero. I'm going to make rich text use less space. And I'm going to click on the Add Video Effect button. And here I'm going to pick Blur, Gaussian Blur. And here the default value is already set. Let's set it to something higher. Let's try 50. Now, depending on your resolution, you might want to use a different value. We are, by the way, in the very first frame, so we are going to enable keyframes now. And we're going to move to about two thirds of a second. And we're going to set this to zero here. Let's take a look. All right. And with transform enabled, a bit fast. Let's actually increase the time it takes 
we can just zoom into the keyframes by clicking and dragging on the horizontal scroll bar. And we can just click and drag the keyframes to make the animation slower or longer or shorter and quicker. Let's take a look. Yeah, much nicer. So we're going to do the same at the end. Maybe we will make the blur even slower. So let's go to 4.5 seconds approximately. We're going to add a keyframe here and we're going to go to the end. We can also just use the mouse, but I prefer to use down arrow key, left arrow key. And here we're going to set it to 50 again. And let's take a look. Fade in, fade out. Very nice. Now let's create a tagline. We're just going to click and drag this clip up. So now it's on the second video track. And now we're going to Alt, click and drag. So click and drag while holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and release on the lower track. Now we have two clips. It's not visible when they're on top of each other. You can kind of see it when they blur, but not really. Yeah, now you can see that there's a blur behind that. You can actually use this as an effect, but we're actually going to use these two clips just to create a title and a call to action. So let's move the topmost title a bit to the top using the position value. All right, and the bottom one a bit down, also using position. Let us also change the text content here. For example, to subscribe for more. Actually, we are also going to lower the font size. Let's set it to 55. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, if you do want to use advanced fonts, you might want to use Inkscape as a helper tool. For this, let's just disable the subtitle or at call to action. We're going to right click it and press enable disable. And the title that is active, we're going to just disable transform and we're going to disable Gaussian blur. And this frame, we're going to right click, save frame as image and pick a file name. Title1.png, for example. And I'm going to disable this clip now, enable the one below, also disable transform and Gaussian blur, and also export it. Title 2. My Inkscape is already set by default, but you might want to go to File, Document Properties, make sure custom size units is set to pixels, set this to whatever your video resolution is, usually 1920 by 1080, and maybe set this to pixels as well. And then you can just drag in the Title 1 and Title 2 files, which in this case have transparent backgrounds. And just press OK and press OK. And using the Rectangle tool, I'll just create a black background. I press Ctrl Shift F to open the Fill and Stroke tool where I set the color fill to black. Just play around with the values here. And my opacity is not 100%, so I'll set that as well. And here as well. I'm going to click on the square and just move it down with this icon, lower selection to bottom. And now we can see these titles, oops, these titles on top. I'm going to use the Align and Distribute tool, Control shift a to, after clicking these, I can also drag a rectangle around them using the Select and Transform Objects tool. After doing that, I will use Relative to Page and Align buttons to make them centered. All right, I'm going to just zoom in with the mouse wheel. And uh, let's start with Tux Designer Channel. I'm just going to use the text tool here. Click somewhere and type in the same text. Tux Designer Channel. And Control A to select everything. And again, Control Shift F or pressing on Fill and Stroke to set this color to white. And I can just scale this with Select and Transform Objects by dragging here and keep Control pressed to keep the aspect ratio. I'm going to also align and distribute this by page to the center. So it kind of, yeah, this is pretty good. This is the same height. And now, if I change back to the text tool using T, I can select everything with Control A and play around, for example, with the spacing between letters over here. I can use these buttons and I can also make it centered so it will expand to left and right. And I can always, again, press align, center, center. And this might look a bit more epic. So let me just get rid of, I think, yeah, that's the text I'm working on. Delete the text. We don't need that anymore. That was the title one file. And now let's click on this, put it to the center again. And back with the text tool, I can decide how much I actually want the spacing to be. Yeah, let's set this to eight. Okay, so now we're just going to move everything out of the way. The black background, and uh, this is a bit hard to pick. Let's make a rectangle around it. 
but not around the text and move that out of the way. And now we're just going to export this file, export PNG image. And here we have to pick page, select export location. And here I'm going to call it good title one and press export. I'm going to move everything back. I'm going to select subscribe for more, the title two file and align it to center. And I'm going to change this title's size by clicking on it and control shift dragging it. This is a bit too sensitive. Yeah, this is better. All right, this is pretty much the same height. Let's move it. Yeah, this is okay. And we will now change the spacing here as well. I just gotta delete this, click on this again, align it to center, press T, control A, and uh, I guess we're gonna make the padding here to free. All right, now it's time to delete the background again and export again. Page, and this is gonna be called good title two. Enter and it's out. Here are the files. I'm just gonna enable window project in Olive and drag the files in here. And no, this is not an image sequence, so press no. I'm gonna resize this by dragging the center down and I'm gonna drag good title to the fourth track and expand it so it's the same width in the timeline. I'm gonna drag good title two also in here so it snaps to the bottom one, expand it. All right, now I'm just gonna copy the keyframes and uh, filters. So let me just click on this title, right click on transform, click copy, click on this, right click on transform and press paste and pick replace and enable it. Go back to title, Enable Gaussian Blur, copy that, back to this one, right click paste, and now we can get rid of the title. All right, so we see the subtitle or call to action fading in there. Now let's enable this and enable the filters or effects and copy them as well. Copy, paste, replace, and copy, and paste. And we can get rid of the title original. So now we have the same effects, but with nicer spacing, which we were able to do in Inkscape. So this would be the more advanced version if you have a bit more time on your hands, or you need a higher quality end result. Please subscribe to this channel and enable notifications. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about video editing, and check out my other tutorials, there's a lot of them. Until next time, ciao!